Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Gadriel, and this is the Talos Principal. Talos the Mighty! We're gonna, uh, see about getting the rest of these green things here. There's, there's a red one here. Can I get it? I see all. I know all. My power knows no bounds. And yet your will is free, because you were made to be free. It is the very principle of your existence, without which the trials of this world would hold no meaning. To seek salvation must be your choice. Okay. An escalating problem. Oh, I can only do one thing at a time. Oh, I could just trap it in there. That's what we'll do. We'll trap it back there because we already walked back there and we know there's nothing there. Oh, what's this say? I spent much time waiting for the designer to take my hand until I realized that he had been guiding me all along. I realized that this isn't the time for me to seek his help, it is the time for me to help myself. Hmm. Faith died at a puzzle I already did. That's weird. Come on, you. Alright. Boom. Okay. An escalating problem. Oh, there's keys here. Okay. Where's the keys? Escalating problem? Did I miss something back there? Oh, hold on. Okay, so I can jump down here. Oh dear. Okay. I have no jammer. There's the keys. In the center. Of course it needs a jammer. Okay, where's my other jammer? Ha. Huh. There's not another way to get around.
I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with the jammer to get it with me. Unless there's a second jammer I just don't see. Well that was ball crap! Shut this off? Is that a thing that can happen? No. Need keys. To get the keys. I need another jammer. Escalating problem. I can't see that area from over here. if I let it go straight. and it goes straight. I'm supposed to do. Hmm. Well, that's clearly the way to get rid of the turret. Set it and head out. Alright, that was the only one here, so let's find some more blue or green, right? Yeah, green. There we go, there's two greens here. Ah! When I was in ninth grade, my parents took me to Pompeii. At first, I was amazed by the feeling of walking through an ancient city. But then I suddenly got scared. I realized that 
I was walking through a real place where real people had lived, people like myself, with mothers and fathers and lives and hopes and dreams. And now it was all gone forever. I ran to my father, crying, and told him about this. And he said, I remember so clearly, he said, yes, but we are here. So long as there are people in the streets, the past isn't really gone. Huh? Everything I do now, I do for those who come after me. Yet in so doing, I find peace for myself as well. This paradox is the foundation of my existence. You've changed. What? Seek out those in this world that would help you. Though only one of us can transcend, we will all share in both the burden and in the rewards. You've changed. Everything I do now, I do for those who come after me. Yet in so doing, I find peace for myself as well. This paradox is the foundation of my existence. Shepard. Wow. Shepard has changed. Huh. Gosh. Alright. Trapped inside. Like a Linkin Park song. Okay. That's not right. How about I go there, there. Crap. Let's reset that. Trapped inside. Oh, there was a piece of paper. Oh well. Okay, that's simple enough. Yay! I just need it backwards out. Yay! I think that's you? Yep. Locked from inside. Okay. Well... Okay, who's that? Excuse me. Goodness. Huh. What? Uh. 
Oh, wow. How is this going to work? What's over there? Can I go from this side? I don't know if this will be more helpful, but we'll see. Because then I can go... Okay. Blue! First, let's get that. Another connector. How many connectors do I need? Okay. Well, this part looks simple enough. That needs to be red. And that needs to be blue. What's that for? Oh, to access the red. Okay, well. Where? Okay. Can go to the other side now. Honestly, that door doesn't even need to be open anymore. Yeah! Good deal. We just up and complexy. Oh man, she was talking about Pompeii earlier. Ah. I had a full blown conversation with the entity in the archive today. Can't say it was terribly helpful. Still, perhaps I can charm some information out of it further down the line. Huh. Oh, I didn't even read these. Athena 9! She examined the symbol on the fragment she'd found in the buried city. Again, the owl. What could its significance be? It seemed as if they had been scattered about in the labyrinth by some unseen hand, for a purpose that yet eluded. Most likely, the owl was the sigil of the author of these worlds, which had to. or which had so. a uh, nebulous memory, as if from a previous life. The owl was the symbol of. and the goddess. Outside under the moon, or perhaps on the city walls when the wind rose. But there was no time to contemplate this further now, for the automatons had seen her, and their mechanical arms extended towards the fragment and ran as their beams converged on. Oh, wow. Nadia Sarabi! One of the founders of the modern science of nomadics. Of the modern science of pneumatics, many credit you with inventing the term itself. How do you see the state of science today? Sorry, I said science twice. Uh, Nadia Sarabi, mixed. On the one hand, the existence of the Institute for Applied Pneumatics and a couple of similar organizations is highly encouraging. On the other hand, the degree to which science is seen as serving purely military or corporate cause is, in my opinion, stopping us from exploring many important avenues of research. In a sense, it's people like Alexandra Drennan who are the real pioneers today. Go away. 
uh, who have the enthusiasm and dedication that the system as a whole seems to be lacking. Do you think technology poses a danger to humanity? Nadia. No, technology is just a tool. What we do with it is up to us. The Extended Lifespan Project. Crazy or visionary? Both! Arkady Tchaikovsky. Crazy or visionary? Smiley face. Nadia. Both! Arkady, is that you? Do ya haf. Do Alan Jameson re- Scenario Gen. So far, all the puzzles are solvable and completely within the necessary parameters. Alexandra had some more tweaks she wanted to suggest, but I think we're heading in the right direction here. Huh. Singularity Discussion 104. Singularity is coming! Uh, you know, the more I think about it, the more I believe that no one is actually worried about AIs taking over the world or anything like that, no matter what they say. What they're really worried about is that someone might prove, once and for all, that consciousness can arise from matter. And I kind of understand why they find it so terrifying. If we can create a sentient being, where does that leave the soul? Without mystery, how can we see ourselves as anything other than machines? And if we are machines, what hope do we have that death is not the end? What really scares people is not the artificial intelligence in the computer, but the natural intelligence they see in the mirror. Wow. Wow. Let's go see what C complex looks like. Elohim wanted me to get all the sigils. That's where I want to be. But first, I think I have to get all the sigils. Oh, hi. Heaven and hell. The mind is its own place, and in itself can make a heaven of hell a hell of heaven. What matters where, if I be still the same, and what I should be, all but less than he whom thunder hath made greater. Here at least we shall be free. The Almighty hath not built here his, for his envy, will not drive us hence. Here we may reign secure, and in my choice, to reign is worth ambition. Though in hell, better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. Blake William why is that so familiar? William Blake. The ancient tradition that the world will be consumed in fire at the end of 6,000 years is true as I have heard from hell. For the cherub with his flaming sword is hereby commanded to leave his guard at Tree of Life, and when he does, the whole creation will be consumed and appear infinite and holy, whereas now it appears finite and corrupt. This will come to pass by an improvement of sensual enjoyment. But first the notion that man has a body distinct from his soul is to be expunged. This I shall do from printing in the infernal method by corrosives which hell are salutary and medicinal, melting apparent surfaces away and displaying the infinite which is which was hid. I don't know. Oh man, this is going to be an interesting area then. Okay. Eh. Okay. 
There we go. Yeah. What's this? What's this? There's a paper. I wonder what's down there. I don't know who to trust. I'm afraid to go on. These are new people. The land before I have conquered this world. I assume you're counting the secret islands? I hate you. Oh, there's so many. More bad replicas of forgotten worlds. Can't wait. Took the words right out of my mouth. There must be something deeper, something more profound than what I am, something greater. I must tear at it, shred this fake world to find the truth, to find myself. We've made it this far, you could only need the you'll need the red ones to climb the tower, and these are the last of them. The reds are a lie. Green is the color of eternal life. Oh, I've just been gathering everything indiscriminately. Wow. Oops. All right. Let's see what you happens. You've come far, my child. Oh. Succeeding where so many before you failed. You have walked through a land of ruins and a land of death. Now the land of faith lies before you. And know that as you have shown faith in me, so do I have faith in you. Oh, is this going to be like churches? Oh my goodness! They're all red. Oh my. New tools. Churches. You stand before the gates of eternity. When all your trials have been overcome, the gates will open and you will be granted life everlasting. First to ascend. Everyone ascends or gets reset eventually. What's the big deal? Life eternal in the designer's paradise. Hmm. Or to climb the tower. Oh man. What is this? What? What? Why is that a thing? <gasps> Can I use that there? That was underwhelming. Those who have discovered the holiest mysteries of my garden may come to serve me as blessed messengers. You walk now in their abode. Be respectful, for their service is born from the love that transcends death. And their love is for you also. Huh. Okay. So this is how you get messengers.
Nope. There we go. That's uh, a connector. Okay. Jesus Christ! Yeah! Oh, that was hard. Okay, so I'm connecting you. To something. as we do will you love us for having created you will you resent us for having put you into an uncertain and dangerous world looking back at our history our achievements our crimes what will you make of us will the world you create be like ours or so different that we can't even imagine it either way i hope that you'll find this little blue planet to be as beautiful as we did I hope you'll take care of it a lot better than we did. And I hope one day you'll look up and reach for the stars. I'm gonna have to listen to these in order. Ah, no! Ugh. Yes! Oh my gosh! That took entirely too long! Ugh. And this is serene, beautiful music is not helping right now. Hi. Two lovers are separated by the abyss of time and space, yet true love knows no obstacles. Uriel 4. Isn't Uriel an angel? <sighs> Oops.
I'm missing a connector. Please tell me I don't have to do this all, all over again. Okay. That's fine. Well then. Alright, and then grab this connector. Oh. Go grab the red. Yeah, yeah. What's this way? No papers? Huh. All right. Oh, I can't jump up waterfalls. What kind of bull crap is that? <sighs> What's inside? Oh boy! Wanted to do this again. It's folded the wrong way. Can I fix it? Can I fix it? Can I go like this? And then do this. Oh, thank goodness! Huh? What? What? It looks like me. Uriel. Hi.
Welcome, child. I'm one of those who are likely to remain in the world as a messenger of the hidden words. If you are ever in need, seek us out and cry for help. We will do what we can. Wow. I shall protect the Garden of Worlds in eternity. I shall carry the message of Elohim to all lands of the gardens. Only through mercy can we reach eternal peace. Why? Wow. Ah. Okay. Well, that was an ordeal. But now I have Uriel to help me! Hopefully more than one question, though. Oh, there's the portal. I still never even saw what the levels look like! Because that took so freaking long! Let's do this real quick. Okay, what are we gonna paint on? Oh look! When I'm tired of trying to solve the mysteries of my life, I come here to rest. It's peaceful somehow. I just watch the trees and the water and do nothing. Can I paint here? No. So it's like a monastery. It's pretty cool. Oh, I can use Yuria. Let's see. Please, if anyone was sensible. <gasps> awesome. But if anyone with any sensible ideas could read this, I could really use some advice. There aren't many of us left in this world. Be sure you really need our help before you proceed. Wow. Basically, Uriel's saying, you didn't even look, kid. Jamma! Okay, what's in here? Well, we'll deal with this all another day, because it's already been an insanely long episode. So, thank you guys for watching me play the Talos Principle! We are learning so much more, and it's so intense. Ugh. So, thank you for watching. If you like this episode, hit that like button up above. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to be notified whenever I post new stuff in the comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking of this game, about the three complexes, and if I should gather all the sigils, or if I should start making my way to the tower and grabbing the sigils I need for the tower. Either way. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Bye!